Hello and welcome to Money Life. This is Sucheta Dilal. This time we're talking about yet another trading related issue which has been luring gullible investors. And these are what all of you would have subscribed to if you're investing in the market. And if you've been new to the market and come here in the last three years after the COVID lockdown, you go and subscribe to a channel or you subscribe to a training program and you expect to make a lot of money. Now, let me unfold what is going on. So let, the starting point is that thousands of angry traders have been spewing vitriol on social media by alleging that trainers, these superstars of recent times, social media stars, have consistently been making false claims about their trading expertise. And they have been luring investors, like I said, to opt for their online trading program, open brokerage accounts. And this is not a small issue because there are literally crores of investors who come to the market after COVID and the money earned by these people and their followers also runs into crores of rupees. How serious is the issue? Well, let's take one number. The Securities and Exchange Board of India, the market regulator, did a study which showed that 90% of active traders dabbling in derivatives trading in 2021-22 had lost money. Now, if so many people have lost money, and this is a regulator's number, then obviously millions of people who subscribe to this have not made money. They are the ones who are losing it. And if they are losing so much, obviously after three years of taking losses, they are looking for someone to blame. But this is not an empty blame because a set of vigilante investors have done a bit of deep diving and actually exposed these people. So let's look at what we're talking about. We're talking about training programs by the dozens. We're talking about star trainers who have YouTube channels and who have followers in millions. And the fees charged are anywhere between 4,000 for a basic course going up to as much as 60,000. And I'll come to why people would pay more when you can learn for less. Now, these traders rely on this as their main source of income. They are at it day and night. They're attending seminars. They're doing YouTube videos. And of course, the training during market hours. But the money is not coming from their trading, as we're finding out. It comes from First, YouTube. Second, their whole social media presence. They act as influencers and they charge for everything that they recommend, which also means they get referral fees from stockbroking companies and they probably get fees as influencers for recommending certain uh, people, uh, you know, broking firms, whatever. Sources of income are many. What does it require? It requires social media proficiency. It requires tech savvy. And it requires a lot of swagger because we're just two to three years in the market. You are presenting yourself as an expert and you're telling people you can make quick money. What are you wasting time investing in anything else? Why do you want to deep dive into things? Come to me and I will show you how to become rich. And why do you trust this person? Because he is portraying himself as being super rich, as having made lakhs of rupees on a daily basis and putting out that data. Now, this is a key point that we are coming to. So what was this vigilante action that we're talking about? It was trained at half a dozen people, but especially two people, high profile. One was a trainer who claim to make huge profits with superior trading skills and another who is mainly a YouTuber and is constantly recommending broking firms where if you open a, an account, they get, I'm told, as high as 10% of the brokerage as their referee fees. They have also, not these two, but a whole lot of people have also been violating the Securities and Exchange Board of India rules about portfolio management because if you can't trade, but you want to be there where the action is, then you tell this guy, here's my money. Why don't you trade it for me? That becomes a portfolio. And these people are apparently even running hundreds of accounts. When I say these people, 
remember they are not two or three they are literally in hundreds and they are spewing rubbish half the time but they are telling you trading strategies which will make you rich at the end of the day these developments are all part of today's reality these tips are creating losses and there are subscriber only channels offered by some of these investors where the straightforward information that they say will get you what is not available outside on the lower training programs how and why is this happening because this is how the world is moving today the reach and spread of social media ensures that every activity including the misuse of that activity blows up and peaks with lightning speed so it's been just 3 years okay 3 years since the covid lock lockdown when overnight millions of investors came into the market desperate to learn and all this we're talking about is just 3 years so the regulator has to even know what is going on first before they begin to get into the act of regulating but when people lose money for 3 years they're looking around and saying what is the regulator doing is the regulator sleeping but are they looking also at themselves and how have they jumped into things without adequate checks we should look at both sides but let's first look at the vigilante action in today's times like i said in after 3 years of so many bad eggs in the market it is the people in the industry who are looking at it as a long term career who have begun to blow the whistle readers would recall that in july 2021 i wrote about how sebi was not feeling the need to regulate retail algos even though insiders were constantly writing to sebi saying they wanted regulation and they wanted innocent investors to be protected a few months later sebi actually got around to doing it now what is an algorithm it's a computer coded investment strategy and it is offered through brokers it has absolutely no regulation unlike registered investment advisors algo writers were in big business tying up with brokers they were again getting away with absolutely false promises of extraordinary returns because nobody was checking and if an individual investor loses money he can shout a little bit on social media is rarely ever heard sebi did not even have rules and they were also running portfolios so if you didn't want to understand all of it they were saying come to me i will run it for you using my algorithm which really is a portfolio management service which is under strict sebi regulation but algos were out of it and like i said surprisingly sebi had told me that we don't see the need to regulate them this is at a time when people in the industry as well as stock exchanges were saying there is a need to regulate because there is a problem and sebi has now got around to looking at it so like push came from the industry the next lot was as you know is financial influencers again they peddle products and services for a price on social media platform they product they peddle broking services maybe algos maybe even follow someone or the other in a quid pro quo arrangement here too sebi has been talking about regulation since november 2022 but it only got around to releasing a consulting paper just about a week ago in fact after i did a video blog where a couple of insiders did a sting operation on very well known investors charging as much as 7 and a half lakh per posting and they pointed out they don't care about anything but the money that they earn sebi has proposed a model that aims to disrupt the revenue model of financial influencers so it's going to mandate that all registered intermediaries route payments to them through a neutral platform this they think will make them accountable we think that this is only going to fix a part of the problem but the important thing here is at least now sebi has come up with a paper remember no regulations exist as yet now we are coming to the third part which is the set of trainers so let's look at what happened on 29th august so a set of investors like i said i call them vigilantes their names are shreyas bandi zubair khan himanch and a few others got hold of data and created videos and they created a stir on twitter by posting documents which so shows that high profile trainers 
who have been very popular at TEDx talks, college festivals, etc., and who were day in and day out claiming that they make huge profits through their trading skills, had not made money in the last couple of years. So they were not the geniuses that they claimed to be. They were earning their money as trainers by selling training programs, supplemented, of course, as with fees as influencers and YouTube and referral money. So not earning on trading. But ordinary investors were putting their money for trading skills alone and nothing else, not for their face, not for their talk, but to make money. Now, this fakery about their expertise is significant because that is the road to everything else, whether it is the number of followers they have, whether it is the fees they earn as influencers, and whether any broker asks them to do any referral work at all. Why is it that people believe them? Because the leading broking firm, Zeroda, has come up with a facility which they call Verified Label, where they say they verify whether the claimed profits by these influencers are real or not. So they put out these verified videos. People bought it for a long time because people said, this is the profit I made. It's verified. If it's zero, that it was verified. Now it turns out, as these vigilantes have found, that these self-styled gurus have been editing those PNL accounts. It is possible to edit them. And there is a video which we are posting down here by investor Zubair Khan. Many others have posted these videos providing proof of what to look for and how it can be shown that these videos are doctored to claim that they've been making profits. Like I said, the desperation to make this claim is that everything else flows from this false statement. Are verified PNL statements themselves accurate? Apparently not. So Ashish Nanda of Kotak Securities which does not offer this authentication and verification, has also posted a thread in response to all the noise that's happening on social media, where he says any verified profit and loss statement is about one single broker. You can have multiple brokerage accounts with multiple people. It will not give the true picture of what has happened on any particular day because a person can have trades from multiple brokerage firms, which are completely separate. Now, Allegations against the trainers are not limited to false claims in their PNL accounts. The vigilantes have even found documents that apparently expose incomplete data, discrepancies. The focus of it is two popular YouTubers. One is called Gansham Tech and the other is Abhishek Kar. Gansham Tech is primarily on YouTube. Abhishek Kar is all over the place. Now, Shreyas Bandi, Let's, let's talk about how he exposed this. He alleges that Abhishek Kar lures investors to subscribe for higher tier training programs with the promise of better profits, but they have ended up losing heavily. He backed this up, in fact, created this whole uproar by doing something interesting. He said, I will donate two lakhs to any charity of Mr. Carr's choosing by way of an apology if he would come forward and provide verifiable proof that he has ever made a profit on futures and options trading in the last two years. Obviously, people waited for it, did not happen. Now, you have to look at what Mr. Card claims on his blog. He says he's one of the most followed writers globally on financial markets on Quora. He has 1.5 million social media followers. He claims to have spoken at every IIT, IIM, four TED Talks. In fact, he counts and he lists how many times he's been invited as a TED speaker. But after all this happened, he just locked his Twitter account, deleted several tweets and videos where he allegedly made these false claims. But social media is unforgiving. People have screenshots. People have stored all of this. Now, an influencer who earns money because of his following, locking an account, a serious contradiction and very telling. I emailed him. He has not responded to that either. His last tweet in the public domain was that I'm a YouTuber first, but that's not how people who are paid money for his training program see him. They see him as an expert trainer. Now, dozens of investors have come forward and said they have suffered losses. One has written to me to say he had to sell land to pay for it. I have also got since I asked for it on social media, so many emails with a list of names. Each one has a dozen names where they say, this one is a scam and that one is a scam. Frankly, 
it is not possible to get details it's not possible to expose each of them and it's not my job to do so there is a regulator with a statutory mandate to protect investors and they have the clout and the power and the resources to do this so this data is available it's available on social media i am happy to share it i have already shared some of them especially when i see a pdf sent to me where this person with a lot of gobbledygook is saying as the market is live i am telling you what to do and if you trade accordingly you're going to make money now i have to have one warning while the sebi act may mandate it to protect investors no regulator can protect an investor from his own follies and from falling for being gullible falling for these tricks because of greed and gullibility you are in a desperate hurry to make money you're buying programs you are trading you're losing money but you think it's a learning because that is what these trainers tell you they tell you watch for 3 months then they say train with you know trade with just one option or one stock and learn nobody wants to stop and learn because the message always is that every day that you don't trade you're losing the opportunity to make a few lakh rupees as profits and there's another message that happens which is very ironic all of them seem to abuse sebi all the time and call it a sleeping regulator and say it doesn't do anything i was a little perplexed about this until i realized this is a great strategy it is a subliminal message to you that don't worry about what you're doing don't worry if you're part of an illegal portfolio management because the regulator is sleeping nobody is going to catch you that's not how it works here people have been exposed and caught by people within the industry like i said vigilantes who have stepped in where the regulator is usually a bit slow but there is enough data now for the regulator to look at this seriously and create a framework of kinds because it's very clear that something needs to be done you can't allow them to rip off people at least there has to be a lot more in the public domain in terms of what is going on so that sebi can and only sebi can do this because it can call for records it can initiate action when there's blatant wrongdoing and it can insist on a few disclaimers and information that exposes a few people so that it acts as a deterrent and a lesson to others if you agree with this please share it because you will be saving other people a lot of money and be careful with your own investments thank you